This is the Digitally Remastered Network. Game heads and welcome to another episode of Winning the West with me, your host Eli Williams, here in Red Dead Online. And uh, before we get started this week, I just want to warn you ahead of time: uh, I made an enemy uh, early this morning uh, as I was preparing to record this episode. There was a player because um, one of the first things I do is check the player list. All these folks come and and um, I'm stuck right here. I always check for, you know, modders and stuff like that, and I uh, learned a val- valuable lesson. Don't uh, don't report modders from in the game, because there was someone on the player list that had a blue star and had no name, and I reported them and instantly uh, started getting attacked and harassed by them. So during this episode, uh, if I am attacked... Um, Let me know if you need any information on things. That is why... Uh, if this continues to be a problem, this may be one of the last Red Dead online videos that I make. We may just change the Friday uh, show to something else. Um, I might bring back um, blockbusters. Uh, I might. I, I don't know. I don't know what uh, what I will do. But um, I'll con- I'll still continue to play uh, the story missions, but um, uh, in story Wait mode. Hell on Sundays, but uh, Friday may have to change because I'm not going to play this if I'm just going to be continuously harassed by some hacker. Anyway, uh, let's check and see what Alden's got going on here. Um, We did the stolen wagon. Uh, Let's see. Recovery, delivery, caravan, escort. Let's do that. You are in luck. There is a caravan of goods moving from Valentine to Rhodes, and the fools running it will pay more for its protection than it could ever be worth. Come along oh, now. I will make the introductions. You believe that? All right. Well, let's see. Uh... All right. Well, I'm riding shotgun. Been quiet up till now. Jesus. Let's go ahead and minty big game. I'm really actually hoping that this guy attacks me again, so at least I'll have it on video. I'll have video evidence of it. It's a shame that uh, people have to ruin something as great as this game uh, for people who just enjoy playing it. And uh, I will never make the mistake of reporting somebody in the with the in-game report feature. I will be doing it from the website from here on out. But you try to do something good to make the game better for other people and then you just create a whole lot of problems for yourself and that's that's a damn shame. I'm hoping maybe that he did get banned and because it, I waited about 20 minutes after he had, you know, was attacking and harassing me and I researched a few things to see if there was a way to protect yourself against the hackers and the modders and the cheaters, but uh, there isn't, unfortunately. But uh, I um, I waited about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then got back on, and I haven't seen hide nor hair of him since, but uh, maybe he logged out and didn't and it hasn't come back on, but I'm I'm pretty sure he's got my number now. Uh, so, you know, we'll just have to see what the future brings with that. I don't know. I don't want to n- stop making my Winning the West videos on Fridays, or Fridays, but... Um, You know, if I have to, I have to. I've I've got lots of other games that I I play, so... 
you know, it's it's no big deal. And here we go. Here's the opposition right up ahead of us here. So far, so good. Yeah. Wait for some more opposition here. I got a feeling there's going to be some more yeah. up here around the bend. Going all the way to Rhodes. But yeah, that guy, uh, oh, here's from some more. He, um, I even, um, after the first time he attacked me, because I was going to run a trade, um, a, uh, max trader delivery long distance, and I put myself, uh, by using the suspend process, uh, in, oh, wait a minute, we got some more coming here. I used the suspend process in the task manager in Windows to put myself in a a uh, solo instance, and uh, he even managed to zip into that. So this this guy this guy was pretty serious stuff. Um, I thought about getting right back on and just getting video evidence, which is what I should have done, and posted it. Um, but, I don't know. It'd absolutely break my heart if I, if I can't play this anymore, uh, because of this individual. I hope that he gets his just desserts. Um... Although he can create another account, he can buy another copy and create another account and then just come right after me. Um, it's really a shame. It really is a shame. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. How much further do we got to go? But yeah, he zipped in. He booted me out of the game. He jumped into my private session. Um, he just targeted me. I uh, was bragging that he's been a software engineer for 12 years and all this stuff, and he didn't care. Uh, I asked him to stop. I'm like, look, I just want to play the game. I don't know. I don't know really what he wanted from me.
But it is it is a damn dirty shame when when people uh, have to cheat and make life miserable for other players who are just legitimately playing the game. Um, it takes a really, really sad and twisted individual to be that way. And um, I pity him. I really do. You know, if you don't want to be reported uh, and you're going to run a mod, uh, don't make yourself obvious. Even if you're just doing it, running a mod to benefit yourself, don't make it obvious and, and you're not, that stuff's not going to happen to you. But this guy really had an attitude. Unreal. Unreal. Okay, we are just about there. I imagine when we get uh, right up here to the woods, we're going to get attacked again. The fact that he hasn't come on and attacked me again makes me think he may have gotten banned. I don't know how long that takes or if they get those instance, uh, uh, messages instantly. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that works, but I'm like, hopefully somebody like saw that and immediately went back and reviewed, uh, if they can, what happened to me and then and saw the individual and then just banned them. But... Uh, I mean, if, if that is the case, and the guy did have his fun while while he could. There we go. But if I if I have to give up Red Dead Online, I'll just give up Red Dead Online. I'll replace the Friday show with I'll just do a story mission, uh, a story mode episode on Fridays and Sundays. I I don't care. I really don't. Um, it'll just propel me further into the story mode faster than you know I have been going. Well, here is Rhodes. Yeah, he just jumped in. He's like, oh, you want to report me? Uh, I'll give you a reason to report me. And then just like booted me out of the game. He did that like, I don't know. I got back on. I tried to get back on like four times. Because I thought, surely this guy's going to give up. No, he didn't. All right, here we are. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mission passed. Let's see what we got for that. A dollar, 24 nuggets, 366 XP, 1659. Well, there you go. Uh, we managed to get through that safely, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network, as well as join us on Twitter and Discord by clicking those two links in the bottom right-hand corner of the banner on the channel page. Become part of the DRN family. We will welcome you with open arms. You've been watching Winning the West with me, your host, Eli Williams, here in Red Dead Online. You all have a great week and a great day, and I'll see you all next time.